everybody. Hi everybody. I'm going to show you how to um, edit a photo using posterization. And we're going to use these to create our watercolors later. So I'm going to start by just opening my file in preview. This is my dog. And I want to make sure and duplicate this first. So I'm going to go File, Duplicate. And then I'm going to rename it. And then I'm going to close my original file. I always forget to do this. Um, you never want to do these edits to your original photo because you're going to reduce the quality. So first I'm going to um, crop it. So I'm going to draw a rectangle that's about, about the proportions of an A4. And then I go Tools, Crop. Now the next thing I'm going to do I want to reduce the size of this because the image editing tool we're using only accepts files that are 2048 pixels um, at its longest side. So I'm going to go to Tools, Adjust Size, and you'll see that mine is a little bit too big right now, so I'm going to type in 2048. I want my resolution to be 300 though. And um, yeah, should be fine now, height 2048. And then this means that it will be um, in proportion to each other. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to save it. <clears throat> File Save. And uh, I'm going to save it as Maggie. Hit Save. And then when I go to the image editor, it's called Spork Forge. I have no idea why it's called that. Uh, sporkforge.com slash imaging slash posterizer. And then I'm going to choose my file, Maggie. And then here I want to select two colors only. And then I hit generate. And we'll see how it turns out. I might want to adjust the colors, so we'll see. All right, so I have this image. She kind of looks scary because it's pretty dark, but I can fix that. So I, I don't really like how dark this is, so I'm going to go back into my image. I'm going to say Tools, Adjust Color, and I'm going to turn up the exposure. This just changes the brightness and makes it a little bit more bright overall. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to try it one more time. Choose File, Maggie, it's brighter now. Open, and then I'm going to hit Generate. And here's what it was before, and here's what it is now. So you'll see because I raised the exposure, now um, more of the face is white, and I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, Typically you want to choose an image that has a good level of light and dark, um, some nice shadows and some nice highlights. So now that I have this image, I'm going to right click it. So control click, save image as Maggie poster. And then um, I have this great posterized photo, really handy. What I can do then is I'm going to print it and when I print it, I want to make sure that it is um, taking up a full A4 page. So um, just make sure you fill entire paper or print entire image, either one, and print it out and bring that to our session. Um, that way we can get started with painting right away. Hope this makes sense. Email me if it doesn't. Have a great day, guys.